Hello and welcome to KG Graves, the new one-on-one -on -one series where I focus on just one celebrity. Please like, subscribe and hit the bell for more content like this. Thank you to those of you who have already subscribed. This is number 27, Guy Rolfe at St Mary's Churchyard in Ben Hall, Suffolk. Guy was born Edwin Arthur Rolfe on the 27th of December 1911 in Kilburn, London, England. He was a British actor. Before becoming an actor at the age of 24, Guy was a professional boxer and racing driver. Having started acting in repertory theatre, this led to his screen debut in 1937 with an uncredited appearance in the film Night Without Armour. After the Second World War, Guy reappeared in several bit parts throughout 1947 in films like Hungry Hill and Odd Man Out, which in turn led to larger roles in movies such as Uncle Silas 1947, Easy Money and in particular Broken Journey, both 1948. He then graduated to leading man status in Portrait from Life, also 1948. 1949 saw perhaps his best role, that of safecracker turned spy Philip Ledoc in The Spider and the Fly. Guy was cast as British Army Major, dying of tuberculosis for the film Trio, 1950, but he actually contracted the disease and had to be replaced by actor Michael Rennie. He recovered his health in less than a year, but his time away from the screen hurt his career and he starred in less prestigious B-movies such as Home to Danger 1951 and Operation Diplomat 1953 as well as the Hammer films Yesterday's Enemy and The Stranglers of Bombay, both 1959. This period also saw him play several Hollywood roles such as Prince John in Ivanhoe 1952, Ned Seymour in Young Bess 1953 Caiaphas in King of Kings 1961 and Prince Grigory in Taurus Bulba 1962. One of his most famous parts was in the title role of the cult horror film Mr Sardonicus 1961, which several decades later led director Stuart Gordon to cast him in his horror film Dolls 1987. The 1990s saw him continue in a similar vein when he appeared in five films of the Puppet Master series as André Toulon. Guy also appeared in many TV shows, including Armchair Theatre, The Saint, The Avengers, The Champions, Department S and Space 1999 to name a few. He was married to the Scottish actress Jane Aird until her death in 1993 and then to Margaret Allworthy until his death on the 19th of October 2003 of natural causes at the age of 91. They had no children. Let's see where his grave is located. So there you have it, the grave of Guy Rolf.
British actor. If you have enjoyed watching this video, then please like, subscribe and hit the bell for more content like this. Thank you for watching, see you on the next one.